Hi everyone, in this short video I will talk about referencing and citations. Over the time these two terms have been used interchangeably but there is a difference between referencing and citations. In this short video I will talk about what is the difference between referencing and citations, why do we need references, reasons for referencing in any research work, thesis or report and what to cite and reason for citations. At the end I will also show one self-assessment worksheet in order to see whether you understand the concept well or not. So first let's discuss what is referencing. Referencing is the way to give credit to someone else's work or to acknowledge the idea, ideas and fact in your paper came from someone else's work. It is actually a detail, uh, I, detail about the things that you cited uh, which means the author name, the work he published or she published, journal name, years. So that is a referencing. On the other hand, citation is the information from the reference to a book, paper or author, or author in a scholarly work is called citation. So usually within the draft, within the report, thesis or articles, we use in-text citations. So we refer the name of author and at the end we provide the detail about the particular uh, publication. For example, this is one of the sentence I extract from uh, one thesis. Female teachers tend to have higher sense of efficacy than male teachers. Yusuf Zay and Munshi. Now this statement, female teachers tend to have higher sense of efficacy than male teachers. This is not author's primary uh, sentence. He or she quoted or used someone else's work. So he or she used Yusuf Zay at Munshi. This is in text citations. And at the end, author produced the details like uh, the name of the paper, journal name, and uh, further details. This is called references. So at the end of document, the complete list of references is actually providing evidence that author used these sources so that the reader can further verify or he or she can read more about the related uh, sources. So in short, a citation tells the reader where the information came from. On the other end, a reference gives the reader detail about the source. So reader may verify the source or reader may willing to read more about the particular source. Reference is the list of sources you have cited. So it is also important that the reference list and in-text citation should be aligned. Whatever you used in in-text citation must be provided in the reference list. The process of citations. Now here we'll, I'll talk about why we, we need citations. If you use a direct quote, if you, if you take uh, someone else sentence, or quotation did you use a use a direct quote then you need to cite it put in quotation mark add in text citation and include in your reference list what if you did not use a direct quote and you paraphrase someone else's idea if you paraphrase someone else's idea do you need citations yes you still need a citation because if you paraphrase it, it's not your idea, it's not your information, it's someone else's information that you have paraphrased in your paper. So you also need to cite it. What if you use someone else's idea, theory or information, even a table, graph, picture, still you need to cite it. So these are the major uh, category in which you need to provide citations. Now you must re provide references or in-text citations if you, you, if you take a direct quote in a double quotation or a paraphrasing on an article idea or concept. Some, if you take someone else's idea and you write in your own words, still you need to provide a reference or citations because that's not your idea. Providing a statistics are fact. If you are quoting that 70% people are doing this thing or if female teachers are more than male teachers, you need to provide a reference for that statistics are fact. Making a journalist statement or, statement or claim that requires evidence. So any journalist statement, even a bold statement requires a reference so that uh, the reader may have the evidence of your statement. Use an idea from an author, another source. 
you need to provide a reference if you are adopting any theory or model in your research you also need to provide a reference using someone else graph model table picture video or audio you must provide a reference is kind of acknowledgement of the original author i'll provide a supplementary evidence if you are want to provide a supplementary evidence you also need to provide a reference so when you are in doubt provide a source so that you will be uh, free from the doubt because you, when you provide a source reader may uh, verify the source however you do not need to have uh, provide a citations if the fact is commonly known by your audience are easily verified in reference sources for example if you say education is an integral part of society or if you say education is a key for development of any country is a common fact you don't need to provide a source so in that case you can you there is no need to provide a reference list now this is a short activity reason to cite your so uh, this is uh, some reasons for uh, to cite your sources to let the reader know what the original source of your information is to give more credibility to the information you present by the referencing expert opinion ideas and fact being a author or being a researcher uh, you or me i don't uh, we don't have uh, inf information of everything so we need uh, evidence we need uh, some kind of credible information from other sources so that we can quote in our own draft to strengthen our work to let your reader identify and retrieve the sources you use for their own use so there is also a possibility that if i use a reference to my reader can check the reference and he or she can read further using my reference list and to give credit the person whose ideas you have quoted summarize or paraphrase this is very important that you need to provide a uh, credit of the original author who whose idea or uh, model you are using and to avoid plagiarism and copyright law violation by giving credit to uh, the work of others it is so these are the major reasons for citation citations and providing reference list list here is the activity that you can see whether you have idea or concept are clear or not for example uh, you decide which would you need to cite number 1 on 8th of october 2005 pakistan was hit by a devastating earthquake do you think there is a citations needed for this information or this statement i don't think so because this is a common fact this is a, this can be verified easily and this is not a something unique you are writing in your draft so since it is a common statement since this is a fact which is uh, known by everyone easily and can be verified easily so you don't need to provide citations however if you write that on 8th of october 2005 pakistan was hit by a devastating earthquake where more than 200000 people died then you need to provide a citations because 200000 people died is kind of information uh, statistics that need a uh, evidence to be verified second more than 70% youth in pakistan uses social networking sites do you need to cite this information do you need to provide evidence about on this fact yes you need to cite it because 70% youth in pakistan so uses social networking site you need to provide a evidence of this fact to the reader that where this 70% number comes from third there is an emerging trend of use of technology in education do you need to cite this information this statement i don't think so because this is common phenomena uh, since we are living in 21st century so technology is emerging in uh, education so i don't think you need to cite this thing number four use of technology improves a student's achievement do you need to cite this information yes you need to cite this information because this is a key word in improves a student's achievement since technology may improve some say it cannot improve some say it can improve so if you say your statement is saying that use of technology improves students achievement you need to provide a evidence research or facts that can be verified education is an integral part of any society you don't need to cite this because this is a common sentence common phrase as fact 
female teachers have higher job satisfaction than male teachers do you need to provide a citation for this information yes because you cannot write your own opinion in any research report since it's this is a, a generalized statement that female teachers have a higher job satisfaction than male teachers in order to be uh, strengthened your claim you need to provide a citation a previous research that can be very can that can be verified by this statement and the more citation you will have the more strengthened your work will be so this is a quick overview about the difference between uh, referencing and citations there are various reference management tools some are free and some requires license so for example zotero mendeley these are free softwares which can be used for reference management and tools that help scholars to create and manage their list of references for research project including thesis or any project three popular citation manager that offer a free versions include ednode mendeley zotero in next video i'll talk about how you can use mendeley as a reference management tool